fake keypads and tiny magnetic card readers called skimmers being glued onto ATMs as part of the latest attempt to steal your money. Even though experts say you should scrape the machine with your fingers and check it over for tampering, we saw customer after customer walk up to these ATMs and insert their cards without even looking. Unfortunately, some of these devices are so sophisticated that the average consumer has no way of detecting whether or not they're in the presence of a scanner or not. But consumer advocates say if you're not aware, thieves like the men in these surveillance photos could empty your bank account. And because they're taking out cash, the law gives you a lot less protection than if they had stolen your credit card. The longer you wait to report this, um, the bigger headache it could cause for you. The most important way to protect yourself is to check your bank balance. Check it, check it, check it, check it every single week. That's because federal law only gives you two days to discover the theft before your liability jumps from $50 up to $500. And if you wait more than two months, your bank's not required to give you back anything at all. The good news is most banks will at least try to be nice about it. In practice, banks really are going to try to help you out. So just report it to the bank, and generally speaking, um, the bank manager will be very happy um, to restore your funds to you if you were a victim of skimming. But unlike with a credit card, it could take up to a month to get your money back. And in the meantime, there's a whole host of other problems banks won't take care of. If you have a linked account that's paying bills for you automatically, some of those bills might not get paid if your account is drawn down or you might be exposed to overdraft fees if you continue to use your own card. The lesson, always know your balance, and if your money starts disappearing, cancel your card immediately. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.